today we are looking at the effect of battlefield acupuncture on G tolerance. So we're looking to ensure that the battlefield acupuncture that is being utilized by the DOD on our military personnel is not going to cause a decrement to our aviators, which will allow us to use um, similar protocols for them in the future. We have very good data and research regarding battlefield acupuncture and how it works. Our subjects aren't suffering from any ailments or pain, so we're not studying the acupuncture effects on them per se in an acupuncture sense, but we're looking to ensure that there's no decrement on G tolerance. Get ready, and you're heading up. There you go, you're on top of five, so as hard as you have to. In three, two, one, engage. All right, you're going. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see, because I guess from the history that I heard for why we're doing this research or why they're doing this research is because when they were deployed, you know, they couldn't take normal medicine to stay on flying status, so they'd get the acupuncture. And I guess someone heard about it and was like, wait, what, is that safe? And so it's kind of cool to see that, I guess we're doing something that we know it works and that the pilots like. Just Legs tight, breath. The first time I ever did the acupuncture, I had no tumbling or from the centrifuge, so got rid of the vertigo. It's pretty fun, I guess. Keep, keeps me a little motivated. <laughs> Effort. Four. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of getting sloppy, so I was like, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> 